I've never been to a funeral on, in my family that's not kind of a traditional Irish Catholic, open casket, makeup on a dead body type of funeral. So I was a little nervous because we've really only had that type of funeral in our family. And I can't imagine just, I don't know, I don't want to be laid out in a casket with my body, you know, my, my dead carcass in there with face paint on it. It just feels awful. But like being able to figure out a way to have our end of lives leave as small a mark as possible on the planet that we're leaving behind for our kids is important. What you're seeing is now a huge swing to a number of the alternative funeral options. When people see the amount of life that these types of memorials preserve and protect, it becomes a no-brainer. Eternal Reefs is a cremation memorial option that is intended to help to protect, preserve, and enhance the marine environment for future generations. We can use all, some, or none of the cremated remains, and we use memorialization as the tool to build these public reefs with private money. We build what's called a patch reef. They are spread out, and each one forms its own ecosystem. Fish will migrate onto these as we are putting them in the water. I've been on a research vessel and we could watch the fish come off other reefs and say, I got a new home. Nobody else is here. I'm first in the, uh, in the community. The way this whole process started was with a group of divers who were diving in the Florida Keys in the late 1980s and literally could see the degradation of these reefs from one dive experience to the next dive experience. Well, we put this new material down and all of a sudden Mother Nature has got this brand new palette that she can start to work with. A design that was round, it was hollow, and it was vented. Microorganisms will settle onto the reef ball. They can burrow in and start to mature and propagate before we start seeing predators feeding on them. Reef balls are now literally the international gold standard for designed reef systems. They're used in more than 72 countries. There are several million of them in the uh, world's oceans. They're just brilliant. One of the divers, he came in one day and he told me that he had made a commitment that when his father-in-law passed, he would be put in one of these reef systems. His father-in-law didn't want to be in a field with a bunch of old dead people and really wanted to have all this life and action going on around him. And so the instant Don said this, it made perfect sense to me. People were no longer seeing the value in a casket that cost four, five, six thousand dollars that they would see for an hour and would spend the rest of eternity in the ground in a concrete vault. My name is Kaylee Newkirk, and I was connected with Eternal Reefs when it was one of the last Facebook posts that my mom left before she passed away. My mom, a lot of people call her Mary Agnes, um, and uh, she is just one of the most incredible human beings that I have ever met in my life. Um, she's been my hero my whole life. It, it made so much sense that she would want to support marine life habitat when she passed, mostly because she was trying to save literally everything in the world, even on our way out of it. I, I was nervous because we've only had those traditional funerals that uh, my family would feel let down by this, that I would somehow be dropping the ball for them and they wouldn't be able to have closures. But when I presented this idea to our relatives, they immediately were like, yes, <laughs> that makes so much sense. Mary Agnes would have loved that. One of the things that made it such a good experience is that there were like three mini events almost. So, you know, you go and the first thing you do is you mix the remains into the, the pearl. Everyone in the family who wanted to took a turn kind of pouring some of my mom's remains in, mixing it into the cement. On top of the reef ball, there's a, a ring of wet cement and you can push into that wet cement decorations or mementos that you want to leave with her. And then the next day uh, we had off while everything dried. And then the following day you go and you have like a viewing of the reef ball with um, the pearl cemented down in the center. And then the next day, of course, was the boat. And that's um, about three hours. Mary Bodie Hamilton is the next reef to be deployed. It's a very, very positive process. The family is fully involved in making the reef. 
and kids get fully involved. They'll help to mix the remains. They'll put handprints in the red concrete. And a lot of parents over the years have told us, you know, this is the best way I could have thought to introduce my child to a loss because there's no open hole in the ground. There's no quiet room where everybody's talking in whispers. This is an arts and crafts project. They get to participate in a reef building exercise and then their loved one becomes a donation to a reef program that is fully recreational. It's open to everybody. Well, a lot of people told us this was just pie in the sky, that this was never going to take off. It took us a long time, but now we are over 3,000 memorials. If you're looking for something that is other than that kind of traditional funeral, I think this is a really wonderful opportunity. It's a great deal less sad, in my opinion, and it feels intimate without being overwhelming, and it feels celebratory without being weird for it being a death. Um, and, uh, and the things that you get to do together are actually quite fun. I also really love, I mean, just the mission of Eternal Reefs. They're, they're essentially, they're environmentalists, right? They're supporting marine life habitat, and they've figured out a way to crowdfund that, and they're able to get it funded because it allows people like me to say goodbye to the person that I love in a way that I know really honors her. We don't have any divers in the family, but my husband loves to be on the water and they give you a plaque with the exact coordinates of your loved one's reef. And so he, he turns to me, he's like, how long do we have to wait before I get to fish off your mom's reef? <laughs> it's like, I don't know, we'll give it a minute. But uh, yeah, I think we'll, we'll plan to go uh, at least out to fish and say hello at some point, but wait, we're gonna give it a while till it has a chance to populate.